What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be unboxing the Holstein Housewares Omelette Maker. As always, let's start out with the packaging. Ordinary packaging in this case with two languages, no real bells or whistles. On the top we have the company logo and product name and a couple views of the product itself, one with a completed omelette. Moving on to the front, pretty similar to the top, just another view of a completed omelette and claims to cook two omelettes in minutes. Also, social media platforms that the company is on right here in the bottom right hand corner. Ignore the shipping sticker. Moving to the right, another company logo and product name. And included has omelette recipes. Again, more social media information here at the bottom. On this panel we have all the same information already discussed. And on this final panel we have a very close up image of an omelette and a couple specs down here. Stainless steel housing and a non-stick coating. On the bottom we have a little bit of information here including the power input and a warning for household use only and that it is not waterproof. Alright, let's get into the box. So right here, we have more social media info, we have the website, we have the telephone number, and it says to read the instructions before using, and they ask that you tell them what you think. So we have a little bit of paper packaging here, and now it looks like the omelet maker itself is inside these two foam pieces, that way during the shipping process, or really storage, or really anything involved in the manufacturing process, the item does not get damaged. So we'll put the packaging aside. Inside the package here we have a little packet that includes some recipes, it has safety information, it tells you how to use the omelet maker, and just some other information that is useful to the consumer. For the omelet maker itself, we can take these foam panels off, and we can take it out of its bag. And so here we have our stainless steel housing. It looks like this is pretty easy to fingerprint, but that can be removed rather easily. We have a little heat warning here, so I'm guessing when you're using the omelet maker, this whole top could probably get pretty hot. A couple lights here, probably some sort of indication of how hot it is, or plugged in, or something like that. And then we have a pressed out company logo here. And we have the cord itself, it has a little cover over the prongs. And there's a little safety instructions tag on here. And now if we open it up, there's actually this little handle right here for making it easy to lift up. And as you can see here, we have two trays, so two omelets, and then we have also a cutout up top here. So that way, when you're cooking your omelet and you can close that, that way you can cook it from both the top and the bottom for a even cook. This is the non-stick coating. It definitely feels very smooth, so the eggs should not stick too much when you're making your omelets. This is the furthest that this goes up by this hinge right here. These trays are not removable, so unfortunately you can't take out the trays and wash them. So you could probably just take a paper towel with some soap, run it through everything, and then rinse it again with a regular wet paper towel and then dry it. Since this is non-stick though, as long as you don't overflow these trays, you probably won't have much of a mess to begin with. So the fact that you can't remove them may not be the biggest issue. As long as you make your omelets correctly, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to clean the machine. And then, so on the bottom, we have two little feet here. These are both rubber, so that way when you have it on a counter or other hard surface, it shouldn't slide at all. And then this is basically just a product stamp and a couple little cautions. So you can see here from the side, the two trays close together. And here's like the hinge housing. Okay, so overall we have our box some packaging, we have our user manual slash recipe book, and we have the actual omelet maker itself. 
once I use the omelet maker a good bit and I figure out everything that I need to do in order to make nice omelets and read the manual a little bit and look at the recipes, I'll be able to make a review video on the product and hopefully that'll help you if any of you decide to purchase this product. So that's it for this unboxing. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about the maker or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.